Hi everyone and welcome back to our Zoom Build and Haskellin series. In this bonus project, we will demonstrate the object classification function. We will teach Zoom Build to identify three different boards and then sort them accordingly. Here is how this project works. We will teach Zoom Build to recognize three different objects. Micro Bit, Maker Ono, and Raspberry Pi. When Zombit detects the micro bit and hears a sound trigger at the same time, it will move to the location assigned for micro bit. After a 5 second pause, Zombit will then return to its initial position. If it sees the maker Ono, <whistles> Zoom bit will follow the track, but at the junction, it will make a right turn to reach the assigned location for maker Ono drop off before heading back to the collection point. If it sees the Raspberry Pi, Zombit will do the same thing, but at the junction, it will make a left turn to go to the assigned Raspberry Pi drop-off location. Let's start with building the code for this project. We will need to add Zoombit and Haskellens extensions in Make Code Editor. Once they are ready, we can start building the code. The code starts by setting up Husky Lens for object classification and sets the servo motor's position to 90 degrees. Pressing the logo clears all previously learned data and then teaches Zoombit to recognize the surroundings as ID1. Pressing button A teaches Zoombit to recognize the first object as ID2. Pressing button B teaches Zoombit to recognize the second object as ID3. Pressing both button A and button B together teaches Zoombit to recognize the third object as ID4. 
inside forever loop, Zombit continuously requests data from Huskillens and checks for objects. If sound level is more than 100 and ID1 is detected, Zombit will show a heart icon. If sound level is more than 100 and ID2 is detected, Zombit waits 5 seconds to collect the micro bit, then starts moving away from the collection point. It follows the track forward and continues straight at the junction to reach the micro bit drop off point. It waits 5 seconds for the micro bit to be removed, then it makes a U turn, continues straight at the junction, and follows the line until it reaches the collection point. If sound level is more than 100 and ID3 is detected, Zone bit waits 5 seconds to collect the maker auto, then starts moving away from the collection point. It follows the track forward and makes a right turn at the junction to reach the maker auto drop off point. Then it waits 5 seconds for the maker auto to be removed. Then Zone bit performs a U turn, makes a left turn at the junction, and follows the line back to the collection point. If sound level is more than 100 and ID4 is detected, <coughs> Zombit waits 5 seconds to collect the Raspberry Pi, then starts moving away from the collection point. It follows the track forward and makes a left turn at the junction to reach the Raspberry Pi drop off point. Then it waits 5 seconds for the Raspberry Pi to be removed. Then Zombit performs a U turn, makes a right turn at the junction, and follows the line back to the collection point. Now, let's download the code and try it out together. Well done completing the object classification project. Remember, Zombit can be trained to recognize any object you choose, then you can program it to perform your desired action when it sees that object. That's all for this video, thank you for watching.